the the concept of a of a compact little field guide was it wasn't quite something that Peterson invented, but he was the first to do a really effective one uh, with his, his simple diagrams and arrows and breaking it down to the essentials. And the illustrations in his first uh, editions of his guides were not very detailed. He could do much more detailed paintings on that, but he didn't for the guides because partly because at that time the optics weren't that good. So <laughs> people were going out with four power binoculars with this thick glass. They weren't going to be able to see a lot of detail, so he painted what people would see. Um, in subsequent years, he revised his field guides over and over, and as the binoculars were getting better, the paintings in Peterson's field guides became more detailed and started to look more and more like the real bird in real life. And uh, his, his guide was really, it really didn't have any competition until the 1960s when the Golden Guide came out, uh, illustrated by Arthur Singer. And then there have been a number of books in, in more recent years that, uh, you know, the, the Peterson Bird Guide is no longer like the undisputed champion uh, for, for use in North America. There are a lot of different guides and everyone has their favorites. The evolution from very simple diagrams to more realistic paintings is something that's been mirrored in all the other guides.